On a warm Washington afternoon, it didn't take long to find bees. Look, it's a bumblebee. But while it may seem like bees are plentiful, that's not the case in much of the U.S. for the American bumblebee. So these bees are really suffering from pesticide use, uh, habitat loss, and the effects of climate change. Bombus pennsylvanicus has vanished from at least eight states already and is critically endangered in many more, according to the Center for Biological Diversity. Dr. Amy Johnson is an ecologist in the farmlands of Virginia. Why should we worry about the American bumblebee? So the American bumblebee represents what's happening to all pollinators. Our pollinators are declining at unprecedented rates. Even the youngest among us understand without bees, the plants that rely on them will die. We know nothing can pollinate our flowers anymore and make them big and beautiful. But there is still a chance to save them. Conservation groups point to the successful comebacks of other species, including the giant panda, which is still at risk, the wild turkey, and the bald eagle, which rebounded after the pesticide DDT was outlawed. Scientists hope if American bumblebees are protected, they'll also recover, and even home gardeners can be part of the solution. Cease or adjust your pesticide use. Plant native plants and or get, become involved in citizen science efforts to help us understand these pollinators better. Already, two species of bumblebees are considered extinct. At the pace they're disappearing, the fear is nationwide, the American bumblebee could be next. So, Carrie, big picture, if this trend continues, how much of an impact could it have on things like the economy and our food industry? Well, that's the biggest concern because bee populations in general around the world are in decline. I'll take you back to third grade. Remember about we learned about pollination. Sure. The, the bees actually pollinate, for instance, right now, those pumpkins that you'll be getting. That's a result mm. of the hard work of bees doing their pollination. They also provide, you know, apples. Uh, they pollinate for blueberries, for oranges. I mean, these are really hardworking little guys here. And we have about a $15 billion agriculture industry that relies on bees. And then ultimately, we have to remember that they also give us a little honey. I'm going to try this, take my glove off. Uh -oh. Wish me luck that I don't get stung here, but... This is what goes on. Here we go. Oh, oh wow. Can just try it? So, yeah, oh, wow. Whoa. Well, he's got his net on. He's got to take it. Here. Let's see. I don't want to... How are you going to do that? What? Yeah, what's... Oh, oh, oh yeah. the net. Delicious. Did you really? Yeah. Very yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> Yum. I'll take some. Yeah. It's an important story. It's Thank absolutely you, Carrie. Because yeah. it really is all part of this, this hierarchy that we need. Yeah. By the way, little, little known fact, you know, bears don't actually like honey. They're actually going in to get the bee larva in trees. Oh. To, and when they scoop it out, they're just grabbing you the You know honey. what? Because bee larva is not as cute. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.